ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Seven Days to Die. So, I went ahead and did the uh, first couple of levels where you do like crafting your bedroll, stuff like that, as well as uh, I did them all from crafting your bedroll to placing it uh, to going to the trader. So, I have completed all of that and also have made this makeshift shack. So this is where we are currently residing at the moment here. <clears throat> it's not that big of a space, but it'll do for now. So what we're going to do today is we need to start preparing for the seventh day, which is in... Uh, which, so what I'm trying to say is every seven days a horde of zombies will come. We basically have to defend ourselves from that horde. So what we're going to do is try and scrap and get as much stuff as we can built up, make some defenses, get everything rocking and rolling. Chop, 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 chop. Alright, we also need to get some arrows so I'm not using all of my ammo. There we go. I literally got everything but the thing that I was trying to get. Let's go ahead and loot this place real quick. Gotta get some arrows or uh, some flint or iron. I think it's Flint. Out of here, I could be wrong though. But, uh, so we're going to grab some of that and some rocks so that we can recraft an axe. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and recraft our axe here. Uh, scrap. Craft. Let's craft a new stone shovel. I say new like uh, we've had one yet. So you go there, you go there. Let's see, how many arrows can we craft? Probably 13, I want to say. 33, yeah. I guess I probably could have just went in this one instead of chopping the... <clears throat> or going kitty corner to kitty corner. What does that give me? Ooh, paper. All 
Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can't get anything good in here. Some coinage. Yeah, no. Gun parts, some crafting stuff. Ooh, more ammo. Cool. So I, while playing yesterday and running to this area where I'm currently at, I found a nine millimeter, a claw hammer. I believe that's what it's called. Um, a sniper rifle, a mining hat, and then just a bunch of other stuff that I've. Uh, you know, just crafting stuff that I've found along the way. Um, I didn't bring the sniper rifle with me because I'm going to use that for... Um, whoa, hello. I'm going to use that for Horde Knight, basically. Yes, give me that. Yes, thanks. Oh, I'm getting hungry, sounds like. Eat. Some drink. Okay, so I've got a beaker, which is nice, but I still need a metal grate. For the fireplace, Some goggles. Let's see if there's any good reading materials in here. Huh? Some paper. It's in this one. More paper. No, go up, thank you. Please be water, please be water. No water, more gum parts. the inventory here. Drink this. Use. All right, so we didn't find much of or anything of what we needed. I need a cooking pot as well as, uh, gosh, what is it called? A uh, grate. For the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? For my uh, fireplace so I can cook water. 
Or I can boil water, you don't really cook it. Yeah. Hopefully they've got one in here. Yeah. Buy some. Do I have enough coinage? 34. How many coins do I have? 11. So that ain't gonna happen. Someone's already looted that one. Oh, there's some water. There's two more things of water. Or I should say, I'm now at two things of water. Uh, drink. And a drink. So, if you're just starting to play this game, one of the uh, key things that you need to watch for while playing the game um, is going to be um, your thirst and food. If you can keep both of those things up, uh, and constantly full, you will get uh, like not necessarily a, a base boost, but your health will go up. That's how you increase your health and stamina. I want to say maybe stamina goes in with that, but I could be wrong. But I know definitely your health. Let's see how many of these we can craft. Only seven. Hey, look at that. There's a cooking pot right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and scrap some of this stuff. Not recipes, we want to scrap it. There you go. Okay, so we got our cooking pot, so now we can go home and put that back where we need it. Uh, got a whole bunch of cooking pots now. Alright, so let's keep getting wood. Cancel that so we can get more woodage. Alright. We'll go ahead and finish uh, living in here, then we'll head back to the base <laughs> and empty everything that we need to. <clears throat> chairs will though you'll notice uh, that while I'm playing I'll be picking up chairs uh, there's a reason for that when you pick up the chairs not only can you use them as decoration but uh, you can also scrap them through your inventory 
and uh, receive uh, wood fairly quickly. So I like doing that instead of kind of running around trying to chop down trees. Scrap. Scrap. Um, because it saves some time. See, so if we were to scrap this, oh, so that those four chairs gave us thirty logs. So it's about ten, uh, ten wood per uh, per chair. So yeah, it's not as much as I thought it was going to give us, but it still does the job. Head back home real quick. Our inventory is filled to the brim. Shut the door, shut the door. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's split this in half. How do we take half? There we go. X. Okay, not sure exactly what email that was for. Uh, take half. Pachula. Oh, was that the beaker? Yes, it was. Okay, so I'll put the beaker here. Now we can boil some water. So boil water right here. We want to do all things. Three or do we have two? How many do we have? We have four. So let's go ahead and cook those. Let's go ahead and put all of our stuff away here. Yeah. So I'm t I'm using the nine millimeter. So we'll keep these thirty rounds, and we'll keep whatever's left in there in there keep the bandages because we never know if we're going to get attacked by a doggy. Casino tokens will leave in there until we get uh, enough. Glass can stay there. You can stay in there. Do I have any? Nope. I got one thing of clay. I guess I should keep these feathers. Where did they go? Where did I put my feather, feathers, feather, feather? There they are. Uh, so keep that. We don't need these turds or that or this. Uh, we'll keep you just in case. Turn you off because we don't want to uh, invite any strangers over. Now, the reason why I'm turning off my uh, campfire is I've heard. Now, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on this. Um, but I've heard that uh, the zombies are attracted to heat as well. Um, or that's their main focus, I guess, is the heat signatures um, from, like, your fireplace and yada, yada, yada. Um, now, the only reason why I say don't quote me on that is because, well, um, I'm not a developer. I didn't develop the game. I'm not sure how or 
what attracts the zombies exactly, 100% sure. I know that uh, smell, uh, they are attracted by smell, so if I butcher a deer and then run through and I have that meat in my pocket, uh, they can smell me that way, but other than that, that is the only thing that I can actually <clears throat> um, 100% uh, legitly say that attracts them. Um, so yeah, don't quote me on it. Damn deep blue sedan. Okay, we've been on that one. Did we go in here? I want to say we've been through a couple of these. Why is it so dark in this one? Water. More water and beer. Is it just me or is it like extra dark in this one? Empty this. I think we've been in this one. make our way to the next house. <clears throat> Hopefully we can find a uh, a wrench somewhere so we can start dismantling cars. I also need to uh, find a bookstore as well, that way I can start finding, or start looking for <coughs> um, books to build um, the, la, 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 la. what am I trying to say here, spit it out, books to build guns and stuff like that, as well as the mini bike, that's what I'm looking for. buy this food. 80 for food? Jeez. Cooking pots? Come on, give us some food. Is but a bookshelf filled with paper. <clears throat> All right, so we're not really finding food, which is dragging us down. My morale's, my morale's low. Wow, 
what is this? A chest full of nothing. Well, it had a sham sandwich in it, but... Nothing really worth it. Can I jump from here without breaking my legs? I can! This place is bound to have food. Please have food. Bikes for dummies. <clears throat> All right. So let's scrap you and you. So the book was a good find right off the bat like that. I do like that. But we are now going to need to start finding some food. So there was a can of food. zombies. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Pretty sure it said sense when I crouched, but then the guy literally just walked right on by me. getting super low so we're gonna eat this guy <clears throat> let's go ahead and cook some let's do eggs first Let's go ahead and dump our inventory and then we'll end it. <coughs> we'll end this episode here. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching uh, the first episode of 7 Days to Die. Stay tuned for the next coming up episode, um, which will be, what is it, Sunday? Yes, every Sunday, 7 Days to Die, you will get a new episode until I'm either bored of playing the game or have beaten it. But I really don't think that there's an end to this game, I just think it keeps going and going and going. But until then, we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Ta-ta for now. I can't eat my heart.